you spelled suicide wrong. Fuck. And I can hardly read it. Did you write this with the pen in your mouth? I wasn't looking for an opinion of my penmanship. Well, it's hard to have an opinion on something so intelli unintelligible. Oh, Taddy, don't look so glum. I know how to put a smile on your face. What's the story down there? My foot's going on an adventure. Look, just because I invited you into the bar doesn't mean there's going to be any funny business. I don't hear anybody laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no scratching, we can do as we damn well. Where please. are you getting these things? Look, a man and his partner ought to be able You're to not the boss their of this business place, as they see Just get out of yeah, here before I call in the girl and have a live on. I'll tell sons. you what to do because I'm employed to do that. Their Last sons. time I checked, this was a care home, their not a brothel. Now, get out. They're sons. They're sons. Things are the same as usual. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I better keep going, I suppose. You know how Granda gets when he's left idle. No problem. I'll just check your bag before you go in. M my bag? Why? It's a new procedure. It'll just take a quick sec. Now, Alice, you can't be bringing these things into him. What's the big problem? There can't be one rule for your granddad and another one for everyone else. I know, but what's we don't the allow harm? alcohol in the premises. But where is the harm? It's it's not like it's a person. Wine, candles, sharp implements are against the rules in this place. You know that, Alice. You've been coming here for two years at this stage. You can pick up these things on your way out. I think you're being a bit unfair. He just likes his creature comforts. He's a really sweet man, you know? Oi, shithead! Come here to me! You useless cabbage! That's a first edition! How would you like it if I left a scalding tea ring on your face? Granddad. to tell you before or I don't know uh, I didn't know how but um, myself and Nigel broke up 
Great. When? Three months ago. Well, if you're having second thoughts, just let me say I think you made the right decision. Actually, it was Nigel that broke up with me. Well, leave a chimp alone in a room with a loaded gun for long enough. Eventually you'll blow his brains out. Grandad, will you stop talking, please? Just... He's been... I hadn't heard from him at all, and then the last few days he's been calling me. And I haven't been answering. Good girl. Maybe he thinks he's made a stupid mistake. Okay, I'm trying to tell you that I don't know what to do. Celebrate. Go out on the town. He's been travelling or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm stressed out about it. And you're not helping either. What did I do? Will you start getting on with some people in here? And I can't have the nurses looking at me all the time because you've got me acting like a drug meal. What? <laughs> How does she make them faces? Oh, that's still going on. Isn't she great? Granddad. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you should take a step back from Sally. I don't know if she's the best influence. Oh, come on, she's great. The doctor is ready to see you now. Alrighty then. I'm sorry, Alice, but I'm going to have to talk to you later. But listen, don't be getting bogged down and worrying about little things. Don't worry about them at all. Okay? Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Finally, Mr. Yates, take my fingers and squeeze. You're not going to fart, are you? I do my best. Huh? <laughs> that is, have you changed your mind about the surgery? No. I know you're worried. I'm not worried because it's not going to happen. I want to remain a human and not plugged into some machine for the rest of my life. Okay. I'll be back Monday. Just think about it. Please. Okay. Grab the apple off the tree. Grab the apple off the tree. And reach towards the sunshine. Lift your arms up. And all the way down. All the way down. Can you just put that cigarette out? This is a fitness class. And forward, back, forward, back, and rotate. When were you born? Oh, Don't tell us. Where do you want to go once we get out of here? Kerry, my old home. Well would be a step up from this place. How will we get there? Getting there's no problem, but it's getting out of here. Maybe we could tell them that one of your relatives was in a horrible car crash. Nah, they'd never buy that for a third time. What if I set a fire and when we were evacuated, we made a run for it? What? Why would you start a fire? Why not just pull an alarm? And two, 
That Noreen is a marathon runner. I saw her nearly miss her bus one day. It was like something off the Nature Channel. Ooh, that's true. For me and you, number two. Number two. Whatever way we do it, it's going to have to be fast. If we want to be there for our anniversary, that's this weekend. Oh, there's got to be some way. She's always coming around. Alice? No. I wouldn't want to drag her into this. But she wouldn't go along with it anyway. What if I did just answer them? Are you for real? Don't give them the satisfaction of answering. Well, I, I don't really want to talk to them. I do. Kira? I'm sorry. It's, Sorry. it's look, it's taking off. It's the least difficult thing to do. You're you're not explaining this to me, right? Look, it's simple. Just turn the key, release the clutch, give it some juice, let off the handbrake, and just go. Mm-hmm. So I let off the handbrake. So, uh, how's your granddad this week? He's, he's losing it a little bit in there, I think. Oh, it's nice that you go and visit him like that. <laughs> yeah. Although, it does not help to know that my granddad's having more sex than I am. Oh, stop. <laughs> Is that like his old girlfriend up there or something? Yeah. I think it's kind of cute, you know, in case he's... Mm, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Kira, this car doesn't work right. You're with the driving desk in a few days. You can't be blaming the car. Look, no, don't worry. You'll manage it. Remember, all you need is a little bit of patience, okay? Here, don't answer that phone. Okay. All right, Kira, just calm down for a second, okay? I'll I'm, walk you through it. I'll never get this. Yes, you will. Okay, key into first. Now, release the handbrake slowly, okay? Slowly. Right. Hey Alice, the two of us are heading out if you'd like to come. Ah, uh, no, it's okay, I'll stay here and do some work, I think. Alice, it's been ages since we had a night out. Please come. Yeah, it'll be a laugh. Plus, we can be like your wingman. Help you pick up a sexy young lad for yourself. <laughs> I'll be dead by then. All right, we'll be back later on. Granddad, is everything all right? It's late. No, you want to go away for a few days. What? Where? To Kerry, the old house. What? Why? Well, I haven't been there for ages. It'd be nice to see the old place again. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know if I can make that time with work, though. Can they not do without you for a weekend? Well, it's not that, it's just that it's it's short notice, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, you need the break yourself. Especially after what was happening with... What's his name? Nigel. You know his name is Nigel. Yeah, what's his name, what's his face, whatever. Anyway, it'd be great to get away from this place. It'd be great to see you, spend some quality time with you that's not in this particular hellhole. Okay. Uh, if if you really want me to, then yeah. All right. 
Yeah, sure. It's funny for the weekend. And you're right as well. Um, things have been really weird the last while um, with Nigel and everything. And I do need to get him out of my head. So thanks for thinking of me. And yeah, it means a lot. Great, great, bloody brilliant. So you can come by tomorrow. Sign me out, and we'll be off. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's only for the weekend. Fantastic. See you soon. Bye. It's a fun little adventure we're going on. It's going to be great. Well, yeah. Can I drive? What? Go on. Really? I mean, it's it's a long way, you know. Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> Make it exciting. Okay, so you remember what a clutch is, right? <laughs> Yeah, just take it easy. What, easy with the handbrake. Okay. You're not at work now. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Uh, grounded, the gate is that way. Uh, yeah. You gotta know your I left just, from your uh, rights here. I just, uh... Where are you going? I just have something to pick up. Like you got like some stash somewhere you're trying to... <laughs> I'm so cute. Hold on a second. Really? Oh. What's going on? Are you worried about it? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> excuse me, I think I will. Overtime. <laughs> that was a thrill. What is she doing here? Did I not say that Sally was coming along? I know you didn't. And you know you didn't. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to get down there. Love, it'll be spectacular. The mountains, the beaches, the ocean. Hold be perfect for us. Hold on. What were you doing out on the road? I had to get out of there. I don't have the luxury of a granddaughter to sign me out. So we're kidnapping her. Is that it? Unless you worry too much, it'll be grand. Oh, bloody engine's overheating. What do you expect from something made out of old washing machine parts? Oh, I get it. The fan belt looks fine. Why isn't it working? Does your car have an oil dipstick? Because it says here that an oil dipstick lets you know how much oil you have. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks, Sally. Yeah, I, I have this. Once this car is running, I'm taking you and that woman back to the home. Oh, hang on a minute, Alice. You wouldn't just leave her here, would you? And what's the harm in bringing her along? It's really unfair to spring this on me. I, I thought we were coming here for quality family time or something. We are here for quality family time. Look, you know Sally has no one in this world to call a family. You of all people ought to have some some sympathy for someone being abandoned. You wouldn't leave her behind. It's, it's just for the weekend. Or it could be a spark plug. Did you carve a spark plug, Alice? Gotta have a look at the relay for the circuit.
Walking down along the beach, the memories aren't far to reach of when we used to walk the long route home. Feet upon the sand with only minutes on our hands, I try to fit the words I want to say. And I hope it all comes out okay. Cause I've been feeling quite a way since I met you on that day. Quite nervously I'd say, but well, have you too? Because true love is hard to find, but when I'm looking in your eyes, my sadness is this that is your goodbye blue. Every time I walk the beach with you. Then you grab me by the hand, you tell me that you understand, and that you can feel it too. For when you're lying next to me, you don't even get the urge to speak. Just the company I'm here, that's enough. Heading home, that's bound to be tough. Cause I've been feeling quite a way since I met you on that day. Quite nervously, I'd say, well, have you too? Because true love is hard to find, but when I'm looking in your eyes, my sadness is this guy, you goodbye, blue. Every time I walk the beach with you, Checking out this blast from the past. Ah, where'd you find that? I was telling Sally about all the times you used to come down here, and I found it in a box under the sofa. Yeah, Dad's been keeping the place in good, Nick. <laughs> I wish he'd tell me about all the adjustments he's been making. Mm. She wouldn't tell anybody anything. I don't remember the last time I spoke to him at this stage. Where's Sally? Yeah, we're going to take Sally to Yeats's Rock. Hmm? Yeah, we're going to visit all the old haunts. It's going to be great. Yeah? Yeah. Who's that? Hello? Hi. I've got your package here from Well Live Memorials, if you'd like to sign for it. I think you have the wrong house. Uh, is this Sorry. the home of the family of Mr. Thaddeus Yates? Yeah, it is, but... We are, are, are you a relative of the deceased? The what? Uh, Mr. Yates and Mrs. Barnes. Are, were either of them Hold a relative? Hold on a sec till I get them. Grandad, can you come out here a sec? What? There's a man here looking for you. Uh, what? Um, <laughs> and he seems to think you're dead. What are you on about? I, I, I just need a signature, if that's okay. Sally! Can you come out here, please? Wow! 
how did that get here so fast? Oh, well, someone put down a next day delivery. Next day delivery of what? What is this? Sometimes I don't know bloody about all this. Uh, I, can someone, can someone please just sign this? Hold on. Did you have to go buying that? Mm. I wanted it to be a surprise. Certainly is a surprise. I thought I remember discussing it. Why is there an urn here? Isn't it romantic? <laughs> it's not that I don't think it is, but yeah. We should have discussed it. I wanted us to get to see it. Listen, what is this urn doing here? Alice, Alice. Just because we've bought an urn, it doesn't mean anything. Granddad, there's a date on this. This is three days from now. What the hell is that? That's our anniversary. <laughs> you haven't known each other a year. Six month anniversary. That's not a thing. No. There's something going on here. First, we kidnap her from the care home, and then we come to this place, and now a postman tells me that you are dead. Tell me what is going on right now. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, Alice, I love you. Okay. Grant, next. Well, I didn't really know how to tell you this, but... Sally and I, we want to bow out with a bit of grace and dignity. I don't want to end up in a hospital bed or drugged up to my eyeballs in a care home. So we decided to take things into our own hands. Suicide? No, I wouldn't call it that. More dignity. Trying to do things in our own way. That's suicide, Grandad. That's what that is. Well, I think you're being a little overly dramatic. Excuse me! I just wanted to go out in the place I love with the woman I love. This is your idea, is it? You're putting these insane notions in his head. No. We decided it together. Yes, it's true. We did. Are you depressed or something? No, not at all. We were just tired of people telling us what to do. We wanted to do things on our own terms. I didn't expect you to understand. Alice, Alice. Alice, Alice, what are you doing? I am calling the nursing home because this is not. Well, what good will it do calling someone? You said yourself the word kidnapping. I'm not supposed to leave the home. You could get in trouble for something no. like that. No, don't do that. Love, 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 just, just love, this is not a sad thing. It's going to happen anyway. At least this way I'll go out smiling. Oh God, I'm not listening to this.
How did you know I was here? Well, I tried calling your phone and you wouldn't answer, so I went down to the center and Jules told me that you were down here with another man. Another man? Yeah, I, I know that now, but look, I need to talk to you about something. There is nothing to talk about, Nigel. How about we talk about the damage you've done to my property, bonehead? How in God's name did you manage that? I heard shouting and I went to the window and I, I tripped, okay? I said I'm sorry, I, I, I'll fix it. No, never mind about the window, just please leave. I'm sorry, do I not get a chance to say what I'm gonna do around here? No. No? <laughs> Listen, Alice, I had a lot of time to think and I, I should never have ended things. Aw, oh, that's nice. Yeah, um, look, I, I think that we're, we're meant to be together, okay? Like destiny. Yeah, destiny, okay. Look, we, we work. You and me. You and I, dear. It's you and I. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm Nigel. Who, who... I'm Sally, Thaddeus' partner. Partner? Jeez, Thaddeus, how did you end up with a girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know, bonehead. Probably not dumping her. Granddad! That's fair. Nigel! Now is not the time, will you please go home and I will talk to you on Monday. I came the whole way down here just to talk to you, can I not? Jesus, is this an urn? Yes. Isn't it lovely? Well, it's a pity it won't be filled any time soon because nobody is killing themselves this weekend. What? Please, Jesus Christ! Wait, wait. What's all this about them killing themselves? I have too much going on right now, okay? Goodbye! What? myself in my bloody shoelaces. Uh, that's right, because they'll be in my pocket.
I must say this is blatant manipulation. I'm so sorry. I thought something Nigel? else was going on. <laughs> How many times do I have to ask you to leave? Uh, well, it's a good thing that I didn't, because who knows what might have happened. Those Danny Longlegs can be really scary. Huh? Nigel, why are you still here? I was looking out for your granddad. Lovely day. Could be warm later. Where are you going? Going to the beach. When he hits his rock. Why? It's a lovely day. Bastards. Those bastards. Alrighty, sweetheart. Time to hit the high road. What's up with you? Is something wrong? No. Well, that's setting my mind at ease. You know, I'm starting to think that this meditation lark isn't for you. I'm glad you get such a kick out of the things I have to do to better myself. When you get to see Yates's rock, you'll be just grand. I don't want to go. Hey, that's part of my family history. Right. Family. If that's the way you want to be, I'll just go by myself. Yeah. Where's Sally? She's not coming. Grandad, you can't stay here by yourself. That's up to her, isn't it?
Need you to do something for me? Uh, sh sure, yeah, what? I need you to stay inside with Sally. Sally... A woman from uh, Sally, night. yeah, Sally, sorry, uh, what? Granddad is leaving and I have to go with him, so can you do this for me, please? Yeah, sure, I mean, you know, I'd do anything Just for... No, don't get inside and tell me you such a reveal. Yeah, yeah, all right. What's Peep and Tom doing back again? There wasn't... I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see anything, so... Hope you weren't too disappointed. He's just sticking around, actually, to help me with you two. Whatever. I've got a box of M&Ms in that fridge there. If there's any missing when I come back, he's going through another window. Thanks, Nigel. It must be a decade since I've been down here. Seems changed. Oh, there's Jimmy Moron's house. Blimey, he must be gone. The fence has completely fallen down now. Are we just not gonna talk about this? Oh, there's the house the sun never shines on. Granddad. You're ready to cry, and everybody wants you back. You can take what you please with the greatest of peace, and nobody will let you be. Thanks for patching me up yesterday. I, I barely feel a thing now. It's fine. Were you ever a nurse or? Nope. Well, you could have been. A nurse. That seems a bit expensive. Are you Googling? Hey, how about we lose the phone and go and do something? You know, we can't let the other two have all the fun, huh? Love, I said no to following Thaddeus on his stupid family thing. What makes you think I'll take part in one of your suggestions? I wouldn't call it stupid. Alice used to tell me all sorts of stories about them going down there, you know, herself, or Grandmother, Thaddeus. Great conversation skills. Tell me more about my partner's ex-wife. walk being so much easier than this. You got old. <laughs> Although I'm a lot tireder than I used to be as well. I used to carry you on me back up here. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Feel free to reciprocate. I was actually going to ask again. <laughs> I would if I could. <laughs> hey. Look. Spanish gold. What? Spanish gold. That's a euro. Grandad, I know. It's a euro. <laughs> Should not remember the story you used to tell me. About the Spanish Armada coming up the coast. And the sailors all swam to shore with the gold in their stockings. Yeah, yeah. I'd forgotten all about that. There's supposed to be stashes of gold all up and down this coast. I used to love that story. And you, me and Granny down on the shore looking for treasure together. 
You know, that was me just dropping a few coins and scuffing some sand over them. I know. See if you could find them. Keep you busy. I know. I actually believed I was finding treasure, though. Stop that. Get it. What? You're planning to. in two days, and you just want to sit around watching crap TV and playing on your phone? So? I just don't understand why you want to do that. You don't have to understand. Nobody does. I'm sure you'd be missed. You know, I. I barely know you, and I'd miss having you around. You seem like a, like a really interesting person. Why do you still have a photo of you and Alice as your Facebook profile picture? You sent me a friend request? I... So, here's the question. You broke up with Alice, right? Yeah. And now you want her back. Yeah. Well, wouldn't it have been easier if you hadn't broken up with her in the first place? It was a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm just looking for, you know, a second chance. Now, here you are sitting here with me. Is that how you imagined your grand romantic gesture? Mm, not far off, actually. <laughs> Sally Burns wants to play words with friends with you. Come on, it's fun. It's not here. Our rock, Yitz's rock. I don't know, maybe got swept away by the tide or something. No, it's above the high tide mark. Anyway, it's a big boulder. It wouldn't just get swept away. I don't know, I, I don't know. Just, just calm down, okay? It's all right, you'll give yourself a heart attack, please. No. Sally was right. There's nothing here. Sally? hasn't been right about anything. If it wasn't for her, none of this would be happening and we wouldn't even be here. Listen, darling, you're in no position to be doling out relationship advice. At, at least Sally abides by my decisions. At least Nigel never manipulated me the way Sally's manipulating you. Give me a break. OK, so you're getting upset about this. But leaving me and everyone else behind us just grand, is it? I'll start listening to you and you start making some bloody sense. Granddad. Granddad. Let's go. I want to go home. How did you get all the letters for xenophobia? <laughs> I am the Bruce Lee of words with friends. A ninja master. Yeah, well, Bruce Lee wasn't actually a ninja, so, but, but I, I get your point. You know, this is nice. Thaddeus doesn't have Facebook, so I don't get to play this very often. 
Can I ask you, actually, how did the two of you, you know, get together? Well, it was all very natural. We were in that god-awful place. And we were the only two people with any energy, let alone a sense of humor. He's far too good for that place. He's so positive. Hi, Thaddeus. How are you getting on? Fuck off, bonehead. Okay. Well, I'm going away Cause I've got to get out now Your love, your love, your love is making me feel So goddamn breakable, breakable Breakable, breakable, I'm going away So here's my goodbye I'll keep you safe in my heart long But far away from my mind Far away from my mind Far away from my Major cup of tea Is there anything else I can do? I can't. What? Um, I can't change their minds. You'll get through to them. How do you know? Because I know you, and you're a very convincing person, and very stubborn, so. And the fact that I'm easier to push over than a cereal box doesn't come into it, so. Listen, if you have everything sorted here, I'm going to go back out to the car. Oh, don't. You don't need to stay out in the cold. Just come in here. You sure? Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Well, how about some sex? I mean, it's a great stress relief, and it doesn't even have to be with me. I can call my friend Carl the Architect. Fuck huh? you. He's very good with angles. <laughs> what was that? A cute architect. Cute architect. Very witty. I am so fucked. We're all a little fucked, so... Join the club. <laughs> I do. Sorry. Can you, um, can you just stay there for a sec, please? Just for a minute. Thank you. Go check on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you believe these are the ones that want to kill themselves? Brilliant, Michael. <laughs> yeah, save the rest of the stories for tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> That's Michael in. Oh, so tonight's still a go. Oh, yeah. You're going to join us this time, aren't you? I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> yeah. We better get some... Uh... Some provisions in. <laughs> it's 
going to be just like the old days. You know, I've been to a few wakes in my time, but I never realised how much effort went into them. That's what this is to you, so you're awake. Yeah. A few friends over, tell some stories, a few toasts, a good few drinks. Only difference is, I'll be here. You're not actually going to kill yourself, are you? I'm out of here anyway, Alice. My heart's fucked. You don't know when that could be. That could be months from now. Could be months, yes. Could be next week. But it will be tomorrow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, the <laughs> painter. <laughs> I should have gone into the chemist with me best suit on. <laughs> Where is the last thing? <laughs> Two lads. I just have to buy enough drink for a student village. <laughs> Maybe a lot of the people he used to know weren't around anymore. Huh? Excuse me, please, Alan. Alrighty, lads. This is the good stuff. Oh, good man, Taddeus. Don't mind that fella. He's only trying to make an impression on herself. He'd be invoicing us for this later on. Every drop. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, I've had you guys oh, on a tab since you came oh. in. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Sally, Michael, Grips. A toast. A toast to living life precisely the way you want to. Here, here. Cheers. Here, here. Come on, you two. Come and join in the toast. Alice. She, is she all right? Uh, she's fine. It's, it's just been a long week. Well, all the more for us then, eh, lads? <laughs> <laughs> What? Do you want me to ask them to leave? What? Oh God, what'd it do? I know. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Although Thaddeus has made himself perfectly clear. But like, Sally, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, she's just had a new grandson. It doesn't make any sense no, why she. Sally doesn't have a family. Uh, yeah, she does. What? <laughs> well, if she doesn't, then I don't know who this is. I've been getting notifications on Facebook all day. She keeps going through all my stuff. Look. Yeah, right there. See? Oh. What the fuck? What? You okay? <sighs> hey, hey, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? Shh, for a second. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the big occasion? Are you going to get hitched? We're going away, Grubs, and we're not coming back. 
Well, Sally, <laughs> I have to tell you, that fella has no more money than a church mouse. <laughs> <laughs> All the same, I'm happy for ye, and may the road rise before ye. Indeed, indeed. And may we all get the same thing. <laughs> I never had a woman make so much fuss of me. I have to say I like it. I'm glad we made this decision. Me too. Oh, you're back. Would you like a drink, dear? No, thank you. I've just gotten off the phone with Lorraine. Do you want to explain that, or will I? Lorraine, who's that? Lorraine is Sally's daughter, Grandad. She's lied about having a family. And they told me that she has been missing for months and they had no idea where she was. You have no right. I have every right when you drag my granddad into this. And I told them that you two were planning to kill yourselves. And she said, nope, she does that kind of thing all the time. As a cry for attention. We're, Are you going? We're going. We're going heading now. No, no, no. Just stay for no, another drink. No, we'll no, have a no, toast. No, no. We'll toast nobody dying in this house no, tomorrow. No. no? <sighs> Sally. I never expected anything from you but a bit of honesty. This changes everything. You don't understand my family. They don't care about me. He never did. Sally, you lied to me. If you want to hurt your family, I, I can't be party to that. <laughs> I'll leave her, Grandad. Let her off. Oh, shut up, Alice. Grandad, I'm only right, trying look, to help. Look, can okay. we just calm down? And you can just look piss at off out of this house, hey, too. So no need for that, okay? I have this conversation has no fuck all to do with you. No, but it does have a lot to do with me. Fainted, Sally. The doctor's been called. But he won't be here till the morning. No. I, I don't want to see the doctor. But you collapsed. I'm fine. I don't want to see the doctor on the day I die. You can't die today, Sally. Why the hell not? Why don't you tell me about them? Thaddeus, we left the nursing home because we weren't allowed to do anything for ourselves. <coughs> we weren't allowed to be ourselves. That's what my family did to me. They took away my voice. They don't care about me. We're a family, Sally. Your daughters will be here tomorrow. Talk to them. Don't you dare order me around. Don't you dare. I don't want to see you, <coughs> my daughters, or the doctor. Get out. Get the hell out. Hello, is she? Brenda's. Oh. <sighs> 
Sally. What the hell are you doing? Get away from me! I don't want to be here anymore! Back to the house, please. Where have you been? You frightened the life out of me. I want to see him. I want to see my grandson. Is there really any need for the tie? Last time I met the girl French family, the Soviet Union was still going strong. <laughs> I thought I'd better put in a bit of an effort. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus, I don't like the sound of that. No. You should call the doctor, see if he'll come out to you. No, no, it's fine. I just got a little bit too much cold air last night. Oh, that sounds really nasty, sweetheart. We'll wait till after the girls come. Then I'll go see the doctor. Here, let me help you with this. I feel a little funny. It's okay, love. I'm right here. I'm sorry, Thaddeus. Come on. Let's get your other arm in there. <coughs> oh, sweet heart. Hey, Alice. Hmm? Uh, do you have a hand bring them in or anything? Or? No, it's great. Um, Probably better that there's someone here to keep an mm. eye on them. Um, listen, now that things are kind of calming down, do you think we can get a chance to talk? Or? Yeah, sure. Um, let's just sort all this out. Uh, first, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch, for being here. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> No problem. You all set? Oh, Thaddeus, looking well, huh? Don't you be getting any smart ideas. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, I thought this might help them see the car a bit better. Maybe you should have just told them to watch out for a giant silver dishwasher on wheels. <laughs> Hilarious, Grandad. Um, how's Sally? Oh, she'll be fine. It's just her old lung problems flaring up. I'll leave her alone for a while. She'll be grand. She'll be grand. Okay. Um, well, Nigel's here, if you need help with anything. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Grandad. Thank you, Alice.
Hey, you should do it, boy. Hey. I like your balloon. <laughs> What's wrong? Are they okay? Oh uh, no, they're they're fine. Um, I just uh, I just wanted to come down here to ask you something. No, they can't be left alone. Oh, no, wait, we wait, 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 Alice, Alice. Uh, will you marry me? Uh, we work, Alice. I mean, if, if this weekend has taught us anything, is that we work as a team. And uh, last night, last night was. I love you. I, I love you, I love you, and I, I, I'm sorry that I left. I shouldn't have done that, and if I could go back and change it, I would. But I'm here now, and I will spend every waking moment of every day trying to prove to you that I'm ready. So, uh, so I just, uh, <laughs> marry me. Alice, 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 wait, Alice. Not to leave them alone. Uh, Alice, uh... Your breath. She just went. Sally's family's uh, going to go straight to the hospital. They're going to meet the coroner there. So. See you, Alice.
friend dead. Come on, it's time to go. Where? Back to the home. I'm not going back there. You can't stay here by yourself, and I have to go back to work. I know you're upset and hurt, but you can't stay here by yourself. Alice, I have a plan, and I'm going to see it through. You only want to do this now because Sally is gone. I understand that. I really do. Sally but... has nothing to do with this. It's my decision. It's always been my decision. You haven't got the foggiest about the choices that I've made. What about me, Grandad? I'm surprised you never got on better with an idol. The two of ye, just keeping me around as long as it was convenient for you. Well, go on, go ahead. I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't watch you every minute of my waking day only for you to kill yourself the second I turn around. I can't do it. Do you think that love was made, or is it a byproduct of some kind of the fundamental instinct to go forth and multiply? Well, I have no wants for children, but I have one bad for you. I can't tell where this is coming from. I don't know more than you do Is it the way your body curves Or the way your eyes approve Of all my indiscretions Your lips want to improve I've got it, I've got it, I've got it Even if I can't tell what it's for I've got it like nothing I've ever had before. Now if I try to apprehend my heart's unwieldy sprawl, I think it might just get wise to me. And shred and burn it all And go out into hiding In chat or tiny call And start speaking in some accent That I don't understand at all And so the maze expands And faculties fall until all I comprehend is your power to enthrall. Yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. How are you, Alice? Um, some student uh, evaluations there for you. You can just sign off on them whenever you get a chance. That'd be great. What had you out for the last few days? Were you sick or something? You don't look well. Yeah. Right, um, talk to you soon anyway. Hello. Hi there, I'm looking for the care of Thaddeus Yates. Is this Miss Alice Yates speaking? Just tell me what's happened. Um, well, actually, miss, we, we were hoping you might tell us that. It, it seems that Thaddeus hasn't returned here to St. Parts Care Home. He's we in were... the care home. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, 
should have led with that. I'm just after starting. <laughs> Hello? Um. Thaddeus Yates won't be coming back to the home. Oh, we've talked it over and he's just not coming back. Oh, that's a shame. The nurse said he was an interesting guy. Certainly more lively than the rest of them here. Any anyway, I I'll sort out the release plan. You know, we can't just have people coming and going like that. Okay. Thanks very much, Miss. <clears throat> Sorry, but I, uh, I thought you were, I didn't appreciate how you spoke to me last week and I, uh, I thought you were really rude and uncalled for and I actually passed my exam, so I just wanted to say I, I thought you were wrong. I'm a horrible person. No, no, I, I, it's all right. Congrats, Kira. Hold on. Hi. Hi. Nigel. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to do anything weird. Uh, no, listen. Uh, I got a message from Sally yesterday. What? Yeah. And obviously it's not her because... Uh, well, A, she's dead, and B, she called me Bonehead, so... But anyway, she wants you to go to the beach. Today. I can't... I can't... I've got lessons booked all day. Oh, no, th Full. those lessons, they're taken care of. What are you talking about? Just look at the... Nigel, I'm really... Um. Look, no, M my, my fault entirely. Look, I only, I was only thinking of me and I should have been thinking of you, so... It's not that, it's... I'm just not ready. I know. Listen, you've, you've got something to do today, so... Hop on. Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for you. I'll see
And I'm sorry for the panic and my numbing poetry. I could sing and sing forever. I still won't know what love can be. But it has to be more than bliss. Tell me that it's more than pain. What happens after movie stars kiss? Standing out in the pouring rain. For after all is said, all I can say is true for sure. Is if you irrefutably want me, then I'm indisputably yours. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And I just can't let it go I've got it like nothing I've ever had before Yes, I've got it like nothing 